Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Mythical PS for yet another update video. In today's video I'll be covering the new salvage system. Now before we get into that, I do want to announce another giveaway of $50 in store credits. Meaning whenever you win, you will be able to take any item from the donation store worth up to $50 in your name. Now all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to leave a like and comment your in-game name down below. The winner will be picked in just about two days as always he will be announced in my community discord in the service discord and on my pinned comment links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure you join those so as always i would like to start off with the forum topic update number 173 this was actually posted on december the 28th of uh, 2023 so a last update before the end of the year now as you can see the new salvage system will actually be replacing the recycling center uh, and is a new and improved system and for too long this recycling center has become kind of pointless because you can just farm the same AOE mob and stack up coins meaning it doesn't really help the economy in any way whatsoever so they introduced this new system to actually combat that and to make it more interesting and also of course for the economy itself now what's different pretty much you will now be able to dismantle specific types of items for different types of salvages in the chest area which I'll show in a minute in game now this will require uh, will be required in recipes to unlock new items and perks meaning you will have to combat those different types of bosses or buy the actual drops so you can salvage them from other players um, now the salvages themselves are not tradable so whenever you salvage an item that is something that has now been removed from the economy which might have cost you some time to grind out or some money to buy from another player now instead of getting the actual salvages you will need a salvage bag where all these salvages will be stored which you can just buy from the void point store i believe this costs 15 void points in total now this salvage bag um, will have all the salvages in there for you now the recycled coin buffs will now also reflect to the common salvage so if you had a buff of 10 percent extra coins this will now be a 10 percent extra chance for the salvage now um, the types of salvages you can get are from all of these items, I'm not going to cover all of them. Then you also have the rare salvages and the epic salvages that you can get from those items. Now as you can see here is some feedback, so they already um, decided to change something with the perk system. Now as you can see the players actually gave some feedback that this was not a good idea and therefore this was not been implemented into the server so they are listening very well to the players feedback to make this as good as possible for you guys to enjoy now, if we scroll down a little bit here you'll see pretty much the interfaces i'll show those in game in a second as well now there will be more feedback and more updates regarding this and actually that has already happened if we go to update number 174 so you can see some updates right here but also the changes to the salvage system now common salvages is no longer a 100 chance it's actually only a 25 chance now with some items being 10 chance only to get a salvage some items can yield more than one salvage though and this will depend on the rarity in game uh, instance tokens for example will now be able to give five salvages from one instance token and more items will of course be added to the list whenever the game progresses now examining items will also display the salvage type you would get and how many of that salvage you would be able to obtain if you try to salvages um, and also um, you have the salvage bag which is now required in your inventory when you try to dismantle items so let's hop on back in game and first of all i'm going to go to the shops because i need to buy myself the salvage bag um, so let's find the vote store real quick here we go vote rewards let's have a look here and then we have the salvage bag which will cost indeed 15 points and now we can actually go to the area where we can salvage now the salvage system is in the chest area so you have all the chests here of course and the recycling system is now the um what's it called the salvage system as you can see right there so the item dismantler if you want to dismantle items for salvages you will have to use the items on the item dismantler and then you of course need the salvage bag in your inventory as well in order to collect all your salvages now you will be able to fuse items after that and you also have a shop that you will be able to spend um, your salvages in so for the common salvages you can buy all of these items for a certain amount of these common salvages as you can see for example the heat healing aura right here which would boost you 500 hp which costs you 1000 of these common salvages 
Now let's have a look here if we use some of the items on the actual salvage system or on the item dismantler. My item crumbles, I did not get myself one of the salvages. If we have a look here, this has a 2x common 75% failure rate. So hopefully this should give me some more. And here we go, we actually managed to get ourselves some salvages and we also got an achievement there for recycling 10 items in total. Now that was for common salvages, so normally if I inspect this bag right here, I should have myself some common salvages, and then I should be able to dismantle these items as well and hopefully get myself something. Three of them for absolutely nothing. What does the cave give? One salvage, and then this is one salvage as well. So let's have a look if we can get ourselves anything from this. And unfortunately, I believe I did not get myself any of the correct salvages. Oh, I actually did. Oh, they guaranteed give me one. Okay. Now, of course, the most important part, once you have these salvages, what can you actually do with them? So in the item fusion, currently there are only four items, but of course there will be more items added to this in the future. Now, currently for those four items, you will be able to um, fuse these if you have 250 common salvages and five of all other salvage types. You will be able to get yourself an empowered quiver. Now, this will be in a broken state, so you still have to repair it after that as well. You also have the empowered stone right here, which will cost you 100 common salvages and one of all other salvage types. And then you will get a guaranteed output of the empowered stone. Now, as you can see with the Omicron title and the Cupid's Blessing, this actually has a 90% failure rate. So you do have to keep that in mind that it's possible that you will not get any of these items uh, or you will lose all these salvages. So for the Omicron title, it would be 50 common, 1 reborn, 5 cracks and 10 Vader salvages. And then for Cupid's Blessing, this would be 50 common, 1 epic, 1 ranging, uh, ranging ranger, 2 elite Pokemon, 2 mythical beast and 1 raid salvage as well. Now this would give me the Cupid Blessing plus one on the empowered quiver slot as well, which is very nice. And then the Omicron title, which is basically just the title. Now anyways, that's going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also make sure to enter the giveaway and definitely make sure to check out the salvage system for yourself on Mythical PS. But anyways, with all that said, this is where I'll be ending the video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and peace.